Hi, this is Pam, Pamela Gropey Art, and I'm going to show you how to paint a very simple daisy. Now I have two colors of paint on my palette paper here, and I'm going to load my paintbrush. This is a number 12 flat Donna Dewberry one stroke brush, and then I'm just going to touch the corner in dove gray and get just a tiniest bit, and then I am going to put a dot to pull to, all my strokes to. And you can make them long daisy petals, short daisy petals, but I'm going to make these you know, just about that long. Now I'm going to start with like um, the numbers on the clock. 12, 3, 9, and 6. Now if you wanted to keep your daisy within a certain circumference, you could kind of outline yourself a circle. Uh, I didn't do that this time, but sometimes I can get carried away and they're all kind of wonky, but that kind of makes them interesting too. So how I did the petals was, I after I double loaded, I had the tiny bit of gray on there, and on a surface that just adds a little bit of striation, so you have kind of some interest in your in your petals. You don't want a lot of gray because you don't want it to be dulled down. So I did the petals in the numbers of the clock, 12, 3, 9, and 6. And then I'm going to come between and do the same. And I touch my brush down, lean, give it some pressure, and then let it spring back up. And then I reload. Sometimes I lead with the white, sometimes I lead with the gray. It depends on the effect you want. You can kind of play around with it, find out what you like the best. But basically I'm setting my brush down on the chisel edge, putting some pressure, and then I drag and lift back up to a, um, the chisel edge, and that creates that petal shape. Now you can come in and add more petals, or you could have left it alone. Now these could be a little bit shorter, a little bit the same, however you want it. But there you go, there's the basic daisy. And um, if you don't like the shorter petals, feel free to go around and redo them. If you want them the same length as the original, as you run out of paint, just reload. And there you have your daisy. Now for the centers, you can Certainly use a brush and just kind of make a circle, paint a circle in. I would use a little bit smaller brush for this small of a daisy. Now let me see what size brush. I'll get out a number six flat and I will use a couple of yellows. Usually I like to start with a yellow ochre. I don't have one on my palette here near my palette, but I'll use this. It's called uh, golden ochre. Looks to me, it looks like it has just a touch of green in it compared to the regular yellow ochre. Now, there's two ways to do this, like I said before. You can just paint on a circle. I'm just loading the, the yellow ochre or the golden ochre onto my brush, and then just paint the center in. Now, you can see that doesn't is not very opaque, so you'd want to let it dry and go over it again. So you see, just painted a circle. And then I would come in with a brighter yellow. Let's grab one here. This is daffodil. You can use sunflower yellow. You can use um, any kind of bright yellow. This is plaid folk art multi-surface paints, but you can also use deco art americana, ceram coat, what have you. I'm only going to need a little bit of yellow, so I'm not going to put it out onto my palette. I'm just going to dip it right out of the bottle, a lot of times out of the lid. Now, this is the top of my daisy, so I'm just going to kind of highlight along the top. And if you get too much highlight, you don't like it, just go over it with the golden ochre. And that basically is it for that kind of center. You could also shadow along the base if you wanted. But my other way I like to do a center, and I'll just go over top this center, is to use the small scruffy brush that comes in the Donna Dewberry set. And I just pounce it in the 
yellow ochre and then I would just kind of pounce my center on. Now what I like about the scruffy brush is the texture it gives it. It gives it kind of a I don't want to say hairy, but it kind of gives it that texture of a real daisy center. Now I just tapped on some yellow ochre on on the brush. Now I don't want it to go all the way around, so I'm just going to kind of lean it to highlight with that. No, I didn't mean yellow ochre. This is daffodil, the lighter. And see how I just tap it on there to create that highlight. And that is your simple, basic daisy. That you paint with a flat brush and a scruffy or um, all flat brush. I hope you enjoyed that.